Hello, my name is Kastutis and today we will be talking about what is a CDN and how it works. CDN stands for Content Delivery Slash Distribution Network. This network works by offering several points of presence outside of the origin server. This way, any website that is using a CDN can better manage its traffic by handling user requests more quickly, providing an overall better experience. If you have ever visited a high traffic website such as Facebook or Amazon, you have already experienced the benefits of a CDN. These websites have their information stored on data centers all around the world. That way, the best page loading speeds can be achieved regardless of the visitor's geographic location in reference to the main server. An origin server is a computer that hosts the original version of your web files. Without a CDN, your site visitors will need to request information and receive the response directly from your site's primary source. If each request has to return to your origin server, your website's workload will increase. Additionally, the further the distance between the end user and an origin server, the longer the user will have to wait for a page to load. A CDN can also protect your website from DDoS attacks or other online threats by masking the origin server and proxying the requests from visitors, making the primary source practically invisible. An Edge server is a computer that can cache content retrieved from an origin server. It's located in one of the points of presence, which are physical data centers spread worldwide. Being able to retrieve data from a physically closer CDN Edge server gives you the advantage of lower loading times. Furthermore, the origin server workload is reduced as the Edge servers help complete visitor requests. This is especially helpful when there's a sudden spike in your website's traffic. When a user requests static website assets for the first time, the CDN will retrieve these assets from the origin server. Alongside that, the CDN will take these assets and place a copy of them in the nearest Edge server. This data will be cached and reused for users' future requests. With a CDN, the origin server can avoid processing a future request for a static content that has already been cached as it's already available on the Edge server. By caching data and spreading multiple requests for the same information over a network rather than a single web server, the traffic load becomes much more balanced. This helps with problems such as slow page speed, browser crashes, and service disruptions. How a CDN might benefit you personally depends on the size of your site, its location relative to your core traffic source, and the amount of traffic generated. For example, a local business with a physical location that serves one small geographic area won't benefit much from a CDN. However, if you are an e-commerce business owner who needs a wider reach or your website generates heavy traffic from diverse locations, then a fast, efficient CDN will help you retain your competitive edge. Effective content distribution networks should accomplish the following three things. The first of which is to reduce bandwidth consumption. If your hosting plan has a bandwidth limit, a CDN can be a great tool to keep your bandwidth usage low. Caching your website's data on multiple points of presence reduces the amount of bandwidth needed to handle your website's traffic. The second is to increase your website's performance. Website speed is extremely important if you're looking to create the best experience for the site's visitors. An effective CDN helps improve your website's loading time by helping your server deal with various delays. These delays include reading blocked storage files, setbacks in data processing for the server, and propagation, which is the time it takes for the data to travel between various nodes before it reaches your device. The third is to improve security. Among other vulnerabilities, a CDN can be an effective protection layer for your website against DDoS attacks. In short, DDoS attacks are coordinated requests for information that are conducted from multiple locations and users at an appointed time. Typically, these are deployed automatically through bots. Hiding your origin server's IP address, using DDoS filters, and spreading queries over several locations helps prevent artificially created traffic explosions. 
Some CDN services even offer SSL slash TLS encryption, further increasing the security of your website's data. The first is, what's the difference between pull and push CDNs? Choosing between a pull or a push CDN depends on many factors and priorities. For example, a pull zone works by pulling site content from the nearest edge server and is the most common method to be used. Users can leave their content on the server with a pull zone and rewrite the URL so that they would point to the CDN. When someone asks for a specific file, the CDN will first go to the original server, pull the file for the end user, and will retrieve the file from cache when someone else wishes to download it. This method is suitable for sites that receive a great deal of traffic, since content remains relatively stable and traffic will be spread out evenly. However, a pull zone can, at some points, work more slowly. For example, visitors who will try to access the file for the first time or try to download it after it has expired might notice a small difference in speed. Meanwhile, the push zone requires data to be uploaded to the CDN storage cloud, since there is no existing source where the content was stored. This method requires website administrators to be themselves responsible for providing content to the CDN, pushing it to the server. They can specify the content that is uploaded, when it expires, and when it is going to be updated. With that in mind, a push zone is recommended for minimal traffic sites. The content is pushed to the CDN once and left there until changes are needed. Another frequently occurring question is does CDN work with mobile devices? And the answer is yes, yes it does. CDNs work with any desktop or mobile device that can be connected to the internet. All of the processes are conducted from the source, not on the user end. Next question is, what's the difference between static and dynamic content? Static content is any web file that stays the same every time it's delivered to the user. It rarely changes and doesn't depend on user preferences. This type of content is what is usually stored in a CDN server, making it faster to process and deliver. On the other side, dynamic content changes based on user behavior and other variables such as their time of visit, device, location, etc. A web page with dynamic content won't look the same for everyone, making it more personalized and interactive. E-commerce websites and social media platforms are some of the more prominent examples of sites with this kind of content. However, unlike static content, dynamic content isn't stored on a server. Instead, it uses server-side scripts to generate an HTML file in real time and then send it to the user's web browser. That's why dynamic content is usually served from an origin and not an edge server. Lastly, CDN and VPN. What's the difference? Virtual private networks, also known as VPNs, shield the user's identity and use a range of servers in different locations to get around geographical and other restrictions on certain types of content. Content delivery networks speed up the delivery of information by sending and storing website content over a network of servers, allowing website visitors to access web pages from the closest available source. Both of these services also contribute to your data security online. I really hope that this video helped you understand what is a CDN. If it did, you can let me know by leaving a like. Perhaps there's another topic you would like me to cover in a future video. If so, let me know by leaving a comment. Subscribe to Hostinger Academy for more web hosting content. Until next time, I wish you the best of luck in your online journey.